My name is Samantha Jones, and I'm the program supervisor at my friend's house. So it can be very different day to day, but my general responsibilities are managing the programs and services that my friend's house runs, as well as I supervise all the shelter staff and I'm responsible for the day to day operations like scheduling and how things are in the house for the women and children that we are serving. So we have quite a big team actually. Um, so we run a few different programs. So we have a transitional and legal support worker. Uh, we have a therapeutic counselor. We have two child and youth workers, a transitional life skills worker. Then we have our wonderful frontline staff. So those are the staff who work in shelter, which is staffed 24 seven, seven days a week, 365 days a year and they are responsible for um, taking care of the 24-hour crisis phone, as well as making sure that all the women and children who are living at my friend's house are taken care of. Chelsea is our current tra transitional worker and her responsibility is, um, it's twofold as she houses women, she also provides legal support to women who are going through um, a multitude of different types of legal issues, whether it's through separation, child um, custody issues, mental health diversion through the court system, um, and then housing is quite a a feat in this uh, day and age right now, especially locally with the affordable housing crisis that we have. So her job really entails a lot of creative thinking and finding safe and affordable options for women and children who are accessing our services, um, which can be a very tricky thing. Uh, we can often find safe housing in the area, but it's not affordable, um, and affordable housing is not safe. So she has quite a challenging job, but she's amazing at it. We have um, Empower Simcoe and a few agencies who we can do um, referral processes through to try and get subsidies or them qualify for sort of, you know, some form of assistance um, in financial needs, but the wait lists are very long for that. Um, so it, it is a challenge in the sense that private market's quite expensive, but um, women can get something called special priority depending on their specific circumstance. So that is something that we utilize whenever we can. Um, so for the child and youth worker, um, they work with children who are both in-house and on an outreach basis. Um, so it can depend on how full the shelter is with children um, and what the needs are of moms and their children. Um, so in-house, it can be programming for children, providing one-to-one -one counseling in person for the mom and child, and then for outreach currently right now, uh, because of COVID, we are running a virtual program and this is put into eight week sessions and they meet weekly with a child and youth worker and work on whatever the challenges that child may be facing.